go live in a second. We're on. We're live. Um, this will come up in a second here. Uh, hello, anyone, if you're tuning in. Uh, as I said yesterday in my video, I've uh, lined up a series of guests today. Very lucky to have Ali join me. Uh, a series of guests of people that we can just have a quick chat over lunch. Maybe you're chowing down on a sandwich or something at your end. Uh, and uh, and we'll just have a bit of a chat about what's going on in, in the big bad world out there and how you're coping and all those kind of things. So thanks for joining me today, Ali. Pleasure. Um, well, maybe kick off. So you were one of the first people. I put out a video last week uh, saying that I was planning on doing this. Did anyone want to have a chat? And you were one of the first ones to jump on and say, yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd be open to it. So thank you for that. Sure. Where, where, where are you at the moment? I'm physically working from home in South Yarra and uh, the great little unit that I'm in overlooks the Alexandra, uh, Alexandra Parade so there's a steady stream of traffic coming through and you still get the odd cyclists and people walking their dogs so yeah. oops, still pretty normal around here. Yeah, yeah. good. Good. And so you, you've got a bit, of, a bit of stuff out the window to distract you and Oh, absolutely. Busy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Like the whole world's out there. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Are you, um, and I just, mm. are you, are you on your own at home? Or you? I am indeed, which yeah. um, one of the main benefits during yeah. this shutdown time means that, you know, I get to watch whatever TV program I like. <laughs> so I can do major net, Netflix a on my yeah. own uh, without competing, which is kind of good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good uh, but I do have my dog and yeah. my kitty cats, and my dog Max decided to walk on over just as we started. Yeah, he heard your voice. And he was like, "What's going on? <laughs> who, who, who are you talking to?" I'm. Um, like, I've got a dog called Max. Yeah, and uh, he heard us talking, so he walked over. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what am I missing out on? That's it. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm in my youngest son's uh, bedroom at the moment. Yesterday was my first day working from home and I was sat in the, at the kitchen table there for a while uh, for, mo for most of yesterday and that didn't work out so well. So I've got a trestle table. I'm in my son's bedroom, but it's a juggle between that time and uh, trying to do some work and giving him some space to, do, to have a nap. Um, what's for lunch? What, what's for lunch on your end? Uh, soup and toast. Yeah. Keeping it healthy. Is, it, is that a standard for you? Oh, it varies. Yeah. Most of the time it's salad, but, you know, um, when I did the – my supermarket shop the other day, um, I got a bit of soup and I thought, well, I'd better start having some of this soup that I bought. <laughs> so yeah, all good. And I just did a walk down to the local Woolies uh, on Chapel Street in South Yarra and uh, picked up a lovely loaf of bread there. Is it busy? Um, um it was moderate, moderate, but it was, I, I was amazed. Everyone was so civilised and amazing and, you know, it's, it's like the quiet after the storm yeah. in a way. Like it's yeah. just people quietly shopping. Yeah. Um, and, mm. I, think, I think a lot of the hysteria seems to have settled down for the, for the minute. A lot of people are uh, just, yeah, getting, getting on with it and being respectful of others, not, not hoarding so much at the moment, which is good to see finally. Yeah. 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 Um, so so you're coping well. So you work work from home already anyway, don't you? you yes, yeah. I, I do. So for me, it's actually been an interesting last few weeks in that um, because I'm a web developer and graphic designer, a lot of the time I've been working from home and... So this isn't a huge change for me. However, a few weeks ago, I decided to join a terrific co-working space yeah. uh, called, um, uh, at on uh, St Kilda Road in St Kilda. Co-work me, highly recommended. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And just to get more social and build connections, etc. And, you know, within a few weeks, back home again. <laughs> um, um, but they've been doing a great job creating a sense of community, even amongst remote people who are choosing to work from home that are still part of the community mm. and they're building connections, which is fantastic as well. Yeah, I was going to say, how, yeah. how, how are the working space is managing th through all of this? Obviously, you can't go in there any, at the moment, but they're doing other things to keep you part of the, the community. 
Yeah, absolutely. They, they are saying that they are, because of the, the size of the space, they're actually still able to remain open and okay. they're just putting in a distance amongst people. Um, that may be for the time being, but over time it makes sense that they might need to reconsider, um, you know, in the next few days when they the government goes through whatever next steps we need to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and, and so do you have a particular routine for when you're working at home? Do you, any, any tips you can share with anyone that might be new to all of this working from home? Oh, absolutely. I can do two lots of tips. Uh, yeah. One from back in my, co my um, corporate days when I got to work from home when I was at HP. And yeah. then one, and more recently as an entrepreneur, um, definitely routine is everything. And you mm. need to keep your momentum up and, and um, make sure that if, if, if 8.30 or 9 o'clock is your start time, keep to it. Don't see it as an opportunity to go, oh, let's just, you know, <laughs> have that little sneaky sleeping or, you know, go pot around and do those odd jobs that you've been meaning to do. Try not to get distracted. Keep yourself to your routine. Um, yeah. If you can, you know, where you, you may not go your full work clothes, but, you know, make the effort as if you are uh, presenting yourself you know, to others, for others, rather yep. than coming out in tracky dacks and yeah. various things. I've been putting on, I work in an office in the city, I normally wear a, a, a suit or just a, a shirt and pants. I've been, yeah. casual shirts, but I've been, yeah, yesterday I thought, you know what, I could just put on the hoodie in my tracky pants, but I don't think I'll get in the right mood. Don't do it. It's a path. It's a path. I once you head down that path, it's, it's like liberating in a way yeah. if you go down that path. Yeah. But it's hard to get back into, yeah. you know, once you go comfy and you just go free form with your clothes yeah. um, and change your lifestyle a wee bit, um, shifting back into, you know, focused, concentrated, forward thinking, planning, strategic work, um, I think you've just got to keep focused on what, what the tasks at hand um, is my recommendation and, and how you dress and prepare is part of that um, uh, process of getting yourself in the right mind frame. So yeah. some of the things that I do um, to, to keep going, firstly, is thankfully my clients keep me in line <laughs> because I've got a you know, steady stream of work that comes through and activities because I maintain clients, um, you know, websites as well as build new sites, etc., and work on different graphic design projects. And I find that that activity keeps me focused, which is great. Um, I do take breaks. Unfortunately, I do get a bit distracted sometimes um, with, oh, oh, I think I need to do this or I might do a bit of ironing or a bit of this or a bit of that. But then I break it up during the day and I allow that just so I can keep moving. Ah, now, into a big serious tip, which I think yeah. is super important, for anyone who is not used to working from home, the incidental exercise you get just from physically going to an office and that extra walking, removing that, you'll yeah. notice a difference. Yeah. I had, yeah. A, I had a, 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 mm. uh, my little team, we, we've, we've organised a morning catch-up and I was talking with one of them this morning and she said, she's noticed just even yesterday what she'd normally get up from her desk and go to the printer or go to the... The, yeah. to the, the tea room to make a coffee or something like that, just that incidental walking around the office That's when it. you're just sitting at the, at the table at home, it uh, made a big difference. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. So keep yeah. moving. If, and I, um, I, I did um, put my Fitbit away, but, um, you know, if you can get you still get your 10,000 steps in, keep moving. Um, I would even uh, recommend building in an extra uh, routine in the day to set aside for exercise uh, where you um, jump online and check out some of the, the online workout routines that you can do or yeah. put on some favourite records and bop away or do whatever you need to do, grab a skipping rope, go, you know, whatever you need to do just to um, get a bit of extra exercise in because that in, that lack of incidental exercise and movement will make a difference and you can actually emerge in a few months when all this passes 
Um, you can come out of your home. You can roll out like a potato yeah. or, or come out like a skinny French yeah, fry. Right, you know? yeah. You've got a choice, you know. Um, and uh, for me in particular, um, I did, and I speak from first hand on, on this, is that the importance of exercise, taking breaks, etc., connecting with others, that's even the conversations that you have with others is so important. Um, and, and that's why I think your initiative, James, to have these chats are just so great. Yeah, thank um, you. And that we need to do more of this just to connect and communicate yeah. um, because as human beings, it is we need it. Yeah, you don't know. You, can, you know, I, I went into this thinking, oh, you know, I won't have all the distractions of being in an office. I'll be able to concentrate so much more on the particular work that I need to do. But, yeah. but yesterday being my first day at home, like the the morning, I, I practically did nothing. I was messing around with the desk, and oh, it's too high, it's too low, it's too cold. I need a jacket. Like that's it. Like you, you kind of take for granted just walking into an office, and there's your computer, and it's temperature controlled, and and, yeah. and off you go. Um, and the ergonomic yeah. chairs and yeah. set up, et cetera. Yeah. Um, now, another tempting thing to do, and I'm totally guilty of it, is scrolling through social media feeds. <laughs> it can get incredibly addictive. Now, if you're in an office situation with the chance of a walk by colleague, you know, you wouldn't be seen on, you know, scrolling through, you know, I'm various fast. social media feeds and looking at cute little cat videos or, Oh my gosh, and they're live streaming the zoo animals. Yeah. I mean, you could spend hours looking at how these cute little gorgeous <laughs> animals, and they're just so beautiful. Um, but you need to keep discipline um, mm. and and focus. And um, but for me, it's like this is my world. You know, this is like I I've been working from home a lot. Etc. And I find that um, it, it's in, it is important to have those connections. Get uh, as well. Is, yeah. is yeah. if you um, are having a um, you know a bit of a, a brain freeze, or you're finding you know you, you, your motivation is dropping a bit. Um, uh, just like if you're thirsty, and you need a drink of water. If you yeah. find that your motivation is dropping, etc. Um, you know, pick up the phone. Talk to someone. Call, call, call mm. anybody. And mm. and you might be pleasantly surprised that you're going to be lifting others through that yeah. as well. Yeah, that's a um, great um, which, which is good. Another thing that I find is really cool as well is um, occasionally, you know, just for self-motivation and drive is um, – Jumping onto those YouTube videos with your Wayne Dwyer and those great motivational speakers, um, just to cheer you up, just to pump you up a bit, yeah. pump you up a bit, pump yourself up, pump up others, and you know to keep focus. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe let, let's let's chat a bit about the the work that you do. So you mentioned there that you're kind of web developer. Did you used to work for HP? Did you say was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of work for. A few big companies back in the day, um, <laughs> like IBM and yeah. Verisign and HP, and uh, it was yeah, I was so cool and got to. Um, so what happened was for many years I was in software sales and I would you know visit clients around Australia and uh, I shout out to if any one of my clients get to see this yeah. awesome or well, former clients I should say. Um, and uh, at the time, I, I was so passionate about the innovation and technology that was available. Um, it, it really helped when I was, you know, selling the technology. But then I thought, I want to start looking under the hood and, and start coding myself and get involved. Hmm. And that's where I embarked on um, some training and learning and uh, went back to uni and picked up a couple of master's degrees in business and technology. Um, and uh, even recently I re-signed up for another uni degree uh, just to refine my skill set. Um, and uh, I, I signed up by Open University, which I highly recommend, you know, if anyone's looking to do something a bit different to tie through the days. 
um, to upskill. Look at these, all these terrific online courses that are available. Um, and I also jumped the queue a little bit on um, applying for Ausstudy, just on the off chance things went a bit quiet with the work that I do mm. as well. Um, so I beat the Centrelink queues the other <laughs> week. <laughs> um, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, but um, yeah, so the, the type of um, work that I do is I have worked on different size web projects. Um, the largest was like a half a million dollar government project. Wow. Um, it's part of a bigger team as a project manager. Yep. Um, through to startups as well. Where, um, like I'm working on a site for a jewellery company yeah. Um, where they make custom amazing jewellery, which is gorgeous. And I've got an electricity company. I maintain their website for a um, not not one of the big, you know, it's yeah. it's a decent sized company. It's a, it's a lovely green energy company. Yeah. Um, look after their site. Um, and I've got yeah quite a variety of clients. How do, how, do you, how, do you, how do you how do you find the work? Like, oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So I've found a lot of work through some of these online freelancer sites, and oh, yeah. like Freelancer is one of them. And another one that I've picked up quite a bit of work on is Airtasker. Oh yeah. Um, that being said, the people most of the people on Airtasker don't have massive budgets. Uh, but the variety and the various industry people that I've dealt with has been fantastic. Mm. Do you, have you so, found that you get that's maybe like you get a small job through Airtasker and that might be an intro to something else or a yes. referral to or a referral yep. on to someone else? So absolutely, yeah. A, a small yep. job becomes something bigger in time. Bigger. And, and not only that is is that for skills as well, it's really, really helpful. And then also if you want a bit of a confidence boost as you're going, as, you, as you're growing, for me when I was growing and developing my web portfolio, every time you get it like a five-star review and, yeah. you know, a happy comment, it's like it's like 360-degree feedback immediately. You feel yeah. good and you want to keep going. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's so cool. So for anyone who's, um, you know, maybe needing to retrain or, or see what's out there, the gig economy through Airtasker and the freelancer sites is a fantastic opportunity to dip the toe in the water on smaller jobs and in, um, and also it definitely leads to other opportunities, mm -hmm. most definitely. That might be a good case for people that, you know, that are potentially losing their jobs and stuff at the moment. There's a lot of people that will be going through some pretty hard times uh, with with all of this isolation that's going on. Um, that if they have the skills or or the ability to train themselves up quickly, you know, potentially they can jump on Airtasker or, or something else and get some work that way. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and like, there's like a massive market for virtual assistants, and I think there's. There's also um, like HR incredible talent through these gig sites as well. So if you need help with resume, you know you've got some HR talent sitting on Airtasker picking up little side gigs yeah. that are so on top of their game that you're getting top talent to help you out. And and same across some of the other gig sites. And the, the, the key is to try and look at, well, what feedback have people had um, on, on these sites? What experience? What are people saying? Um, and you can tap into some, some extra help to guide you along the way. Um, in fact, some of my clients help with um, uh, career, you know, resetting, career goals, career planning, oh, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, yeah. yeah after redundancy and things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's sort of a great opportunity. Um, like I've been th through the odd redundancy package. So you go through the lovely process of reskilling and reevaluating, and you know, challenging your ego of you know, time for change, etc. And sometimes in times of change, it's really good to reassess. Well, 
what are your goals? What are your interests? What are your skills? Have a really good hard look. And it's hard sometimes when you dealt a blow of losing a job to look positively about, you know, what it is you can offer. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you can, while you're still, you know, um, buoyant from, you know, be it a you know, redundancy payout or, or et cetera, just to keep um, go through those exercises. What are your interests? What are your goals? What are your values? What are your beliefs? All those really cool um, forward thinking um, planning strategies you can do. And just to loop it back to with what I do, I, I absolutely love the creative elements of websites and creating and logos and things. Like I'm not earning the big dollars I was when I was as a, a sales rep for sure, but my happiness and so you sound very is like, you know, it, it, it's worth it, absolutely yeah. worth it. Um, you got the so, dollar. Yeah, I mean, I wish I was all about the dollar, you know, so if anyone on this call needs a website, for sure, you know, <laughs> you know, look, you know, just check out the down below, you know, yeah, the comments. Yeah, James might put my name there if you need a website, yeah. or, or above, whatever, yeah. wherever it will be. Um, yeah, for sure. But it's a great opportunity to to reassess, and 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 especially if someone may have been on the wrong career, not the wrong career path for them. Mm. You know, retraining, reskilling, what a great opportunity. This is a second chance for a lot of people to say, well, you know, what, what can I do? And, um, you know, how do I want to, to emerge, uh, mm. you know, in a few months' time when, when this, this will pass, this yep. is just a temporary thing to lock it down to help save lives. So, you know, exactly. I, I think that there's so many positives from a, um, um, what's clearly a tragic situation for a number of people, but at the same time, this is about saving lives. And in a few months' time, when we all emerge from this, there are, most definitely there'll be people who've gone through incredible hardships. So I feel, you know, my heart go, goes out to everyone who, who who is going through job losses and changes and hardship. But at the same time, is there? How do you want your emerging yourself to be in a few months time where do you want to be yeah. you know there's certainly opportunities um one more your time to, uh, to reevaluate that and uh oh, I think there was something the other day, someone shared on one of the social media sites you know like there was the list of all of these famous people like einstein and and and, and a few others and and you know particular things that they're Yes. that they're known for, that yeah. they actually did that when they were at home in isolation because of some other thing that was going on at the time. It wasn't when they were sitting in their office or sitting in their lab or, or whatever it was. It was when they were free of the ordinary day-to-day -day distractions and, and they came up with some something that was pure genius and it's gone on to be their, their legacy for, for many years to come. I think that's great. I'm waiting for my inspiration. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Hopefully well, it'll come at some stage. <laughs> thanks for thanks for yeah. joining me today. Where, where, if anyone wants to reach out to you and, and have a chat, where can they find you? I'm on virtualplanetstudios.com.au um, and I can help anyone who, who wants to look at, well, how do I get into this digital? Uh, I'm happy to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with anyone. Um, yep. We've had to embrace any digital technologies to help with your current um, business uh, yep. or situation. More than happy to take that up. And uh, uh, I wish everyone all the best during this time. And keep positive, and and we'll all get through this. Yeah. yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you, Ali, and for people can reach out to you here on LinkedIn as well. And if anyone watching this on the replay, if you catch it afterwards, leave a comment. Uh, or a question for either of us and I'm sure we can get back to you in time. So thank you for uh, joining me for the last 25 minutes or so. Um, okay. It's been great. Thank you. All right. Thanks. See you. Thanks, Ellen. Bye. Bye. Bye.